Welcome to the MECO Graphics training video. This video will show you how to create a waterfall chart. Waterfall chart is a useful chart because it shows the change in a variable between two or more points in time. It can show a change in revenue, costs, or something else. We're going to create a waterfall chart looking at revenue and costs in the football program at University of Texas. Notice that this is a change waterfall as we're looking at the individual components of change from start to finish, green being positive contributors and red being negative. So let's create this chart. I'm going to flip over to Excel so that Excel is going to drive the creation of this chart in PowerPoint. I'm copying the range and then I'm selecting Chart in PowerPoint and choosing my chart type. This will immediately navigate me back over to PowerPoint and when I click my mouse, the chart will draw. And then I'm going to open up my data to see that that data is indeed in Mecco Graphics. And from this data, I can designate which bars I want to be the total bars. So I'm right clicking and I'm on that bar label and I'm designating it as a total bar. And then the last bar is already designated as a total bar. I'm going to go ahead and just close my data. And the next thing I want to do is format this chart. I'm going to click on the chart button to open up the window for formatting our chart. And in the values tab, I'm going to format my bar totals. So I'm clicking that row in the grid there for bar totals and I'm going to designate it as millions of dollars. And also I will add one decimal point. I'm going to turn on link all segments so that I can see segment links between my segments here. I'm going to quickly adjust my margins here to increase the size of my chart area. I'm just dragging up where those handles are for the margins and dragging to the left for my left margin and to the right. It just gives me a little bit more space. And now I'm going to multi-select my positive segments and color those green. So I'm right clicking and then for my fill drop down, I'm going to choose green and I'm going to do the same for my negative segments, I'm using my shift key to multi-select, right click and choose my red fill color. The last thing I'm going to do here is just get rid of my y-axis. It's redundant for this chart, so I'm right clicking and then from that gears drop down, I'm going to choose hide all, which will hide the axis. When I'm satisfied with the look of the chart, I can just click off the chart object, which will insert it into PowerPoint. So that was a change waterfall chart, but now we're going to show you a build up waterfall chart. This starts from a particular number, in this case, net loss, and it shows the individual components that take you from that number to total cash from operations. And this is useful when you have to walk an audience down a path. It's helpful to have both positive and negative values so that you can see each element's relationship to the total. So from the Mecha Graphics ribbon, I'm going to choose Build Up Waterfall, which will insert my chart, and it always includes dummy data, which opens up automatically in the data editor. And we're going to just delete this data and paste in our own from Microsoft Excel. So we're going to copy this range and flip back over to PowerPoint to paste it in. Now you can see immediately that the data is structured differently. And it's the data is staggered according to rows and columns, where rows and columns have the same headings and the data runs along a diagonal. This makes it easier to color the chart based on series because each item or bar in the chart is a different series 
and I will and it will automatically color my charts based on my color palette. Now I'm going to select my total bars. So I'm using cash from operations to set to be a total bar. And then I can go ahead and close the data sheet and you can see that it's each bar is colored according to my palette. And finally, we're going to add an axis title. I'm right clicking right on the axis and from the floater menu, I can just type in my axis title right there. And when I'm satisfied with the look of the chart, I can just click off into the white space of PowerPoint, which inserts the chart into PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching this video. For more information on Mecha Graphics, please visit our website at mechographics.com.